as you are watching me, I am here to solve your problem. I know that you are complaining every time about the quality of your video. Each time you make the recording and you look at the video, you are not proud of it and you refuse to post it. I want to show you how you can use this free tool called CapCut to edit that video and it will look professional irrespective of the type of camera you are using, whether you have a high quality camera or not, whether there's something on your face or not, because sometimes when you look at your video and you look at there's some kind of pimples or whatever that you don't like and you are so discouraged to put out the video, and the more you delay, the more you say, okay, later I will do it. You get discouraged, you get uh, disappointed that nothing is coming out. I want to show you how you can enhance that video and to make it, how you can edit it and color grade it and it will look professional, it will look great that anybody that will see it would not know whether you video it with a smartphone or not. So without wasting more time, uh, I want us to go right into the tutorial and if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe it if you are watching from the YouTube channel please subscribe like and share drop a comment on the next video you want me to do for you and if you are watching from TikTok I want you to follow my account like and share this video and also comment the next video that you would like me to do and um, for you in the next tutorial video that you would like me to do for you in particular thing i am equipped with so many digital skills and i'm willing to pour out and i'm dishing out one after the other and before you know you will learn a lot from this channel so without wasting my time let us dive right into it <laughs> Okay, so to get started, you have to install your CapCut in your phone. So I believe you have installed it. So the next thing is to click it open and select the video that you want to edit and add as I've done. So we allowed it to play. I am here to solve your problem. So from here, you can see complaining every time about that the quality of your it is a raw video. So we will start the editing and I'm going to show you everything that you need to know. So from here, the next thing we want to do is to increase the volume. So you increase the volume. You have seen how I got the volume. So As you are watching you follow me, the steps and increase problem. it. I know that you make it loud as it is. Then from here we go back. So now we want to open our Chrome. We open Chrome. We want to import. We want to import a um, background video. I mean, we want to import background. So we use Pexels. Pexels give free videos and free images. So we search for our studio image that we'll be using as our background and the video. So I search for it, studio background or studio image, however you type. So when you finish typing, you press and you have a whole lot of options. So I'll choose this one, right? I downloaded it. And I open my cap cut and I select it. I bring it in. So I have to restart the process from the beginning. All right. So now the video is now imported as layer. So you click on layer and you import the video as layer while the background, the studio image will be your main video okay so that is how it works so now 
you select this one and do auto remove background so it's removing the background of the video if i was using green screen i would have used chroma key but this auto remover worked for videos that was not recorded using green screen so now that i've finished removing the background i play it again to see how it goes all right i bring it to the beginning so now i want to cut out that part that i came inside okay the part i walk into the camera so i want to cut it out so that is another way of editing so i cut it out and i align the image to the background as you are watching me I all right to solve your problem. so how to after cutting it all you need to do is to place your finger on it and drag it without selecting it then now what i want to do is to click on this retouch then click on face now i want to work on my face you can see from the raw video my face is not smooth i look stressed i look tired i look tattered but i want to transform it now so all i need to do is to click on smooth and drag it all the way to 100 then i select skin tone so you know your skin tone if you are a fair person if you are a chocolate person whatever skin tone is here so after you have selected what matches with your the color of your skin or the color of the video you are editing the person you are editing for you now go through it by you check the intensity you check the warmth if you are satisfied you can now go and brighten it like i do so I put more brightness to my face you can whiten your teeth if you want to i don't want my teeth to be too white so i want it to look natural so i maybe i'll, I'll put that nine okay so you can also check other thing but i'm satisfied with all this so you can keep adjusting 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 try the tools and see how they work all right so all these things i'm not gonna use them but i just do it so that you can see so now if you look at this video you can see a whole lot of change about it so one i have a smoother face now but it's not finished here i'm still gonna work on it so now i want to adjust it so i don't want to use filter filter give that a kind of monotonous way of um, editing the but i want to use this um, adjust so that i can control everything the saturation the brightness the brilliance the sharpness and the rest of the thing so all you need to do is to select the brightness and tune it to the level you want we go to contrast and select it the way you want all right so i don't want it to be too obvious so i'll stop here I click on saturation saturation help to pop the color so i don't want it too much so i, I, I use five and now go to brilliance brilliance also help to enhance it so I want it minus three i don't want i now go to sharpen sharpen help to make it not obvious not blur so it sharpens the whatever you are working on either image or video so in this case video so if you can see everything is coming out then you do the hl hsl 
select the colors one after the other and tune them the way you want you have the imagination of what you want so all you need to do is to follow your creativity your imagination and tune it to how you want it to be so here nobody tells you what to do you are to use your imagination what's your what in your mind to do it so at this point there are certain things i'm gonna adjust a little and one thing i want you to understand is that some of this color will not work on the image so as you are tuning you look at the background okay because it may not show on the image it may only show on the background so some of them will only tune the background while not working on the image while some will work on the image while not touching the background so you have to take note of that so after you have gone through all the colors and select the ones you want the next we want to do is highlight don't use graph because the graph will mess up if you don't know how to control it so that is why i jump it so i highlight it okay highlight will reveal some places and uh -huh. put light to some part of the image or video that's the function then shadow shadow work also add shadow to it then temperature will now make it either warm cool or whatever so when you have done that you now do the you this the hue the hue will pop the color well and i now taste my work you can see how professional the video now look not that ugly stressed boy so the next thing is to make it look cinematic all you need to do is to click on the ledger and the layer and adjust it but if you click before then you have to you have to cut it if you want like now i'm selecting the, all the layer but if you want to select a particular part you have to cut it into pieces all right so what i want to do now As you are is watching to split. me i am here to solve your problem but I before then i add volume i want to increase the volume i want the sound the to come out of your video each time you make the record because no matter how, show you how well you edited your video is, if somebody don't hear what you are saying, that video you have successfully be wasted your time. So you really need to work on the sound. Right? So you can see the sound is As you well. Are me, so I what I want to do is to problem. reduce I noise. So I click on it and enable it. Okay now if there was noise in the background it will reduce it okay so now i want to start the, uh, making a cinematic by cutting some parts and make that particular one to either be small move or okay so that is what i'm doing right now so now you can see that i've cut this As you are watching to the left me, and to the right to now select the one in the middle and work on so that when it plays like this quality of your video okay you make the record like this it gets the it, it comes up as you can see in some i want to show movies you on some videos that is how to achieve it so you keep on doing like that like that like that okay So that is what I'm doing. I keep cutting to achieve different levels. Okay. So sometimes you make it big. Sometimes you make it show only your mouth. Sometimes, okay. I want to show you how you can use this free tool called that is how to achieve to it. Edit that video and it will look professional. It so as you as you 
do it you make sure you go back and start playing it so that you see whether you have gotten what you want and the more you do it the more ideas will come to you okay so you don't just go and say this is what in editing you may go with one idea but you end up doing a different thing because when you start working you see that different inspiration different ideas will come so all you need to do is just allow yourself to breathe don't cage yourself into what you have already made up your mind so this one is to to use this um, tool now look at what it does you select it at the beginning you get to a point you as you select it you don't need to select it again when you select that one every other thing you do at a point will just be added automatically all right we call it keystone whether keystone whether keystone all right i'm not here to teach english all right so you can see as i get to a point i adjust I it i want to show you how you can as i get to a point i adjust it, make it so that all right mm, now that well, we have to show you gotten it you i play it, it now see how it is it and you see how the professional video is moving that anybody that will moving see because it, i said it that way so that is how to achieve this kind of motion not so you want it more time, uh, I want like that in your video right? okay so you can see it goes back and come forward again now back to the beginning so that is how to achieve it then you now cut out the part i stood up after recording because i record myself so i put it on the tripod record so now remove the cap cut logo all right so my video is ready okay As you are watching me i am here to in the way i want it i know that so there are other things i need to time about do now you have learned how to add a studio background and you, look at the you have learned how to put and you look at a cinematic video, motion or movement all right so there are other things i will teach you to put out. the next the next thing we are going to look at is how to blur the studio background okay so that is the next thing we are going to be looking at all right so you now select on effect and you go to video effects and you go to lens okay leave trending as you are watching lens. me, I am here right. to solve your problem. I know that you then you select blur. You can see blur there. It is added, so you can see the background is now blurred. It's not as it was as before. As you are watching so me, I am here to solve your problem. Now, I if you remove it, you... you can see how it is. It revealed everything, but I want it blur. All right, so that is how to achieve it. So now that I've adjusted you are watching it, me, I am here to solve your problem. You can see, I don't want it to be hundred percent, so I may do maybe this. This level is okay for me. So the next thing is to it will only blot and stop where it is. So I extend it because I want it to be the whole video. So you drag it to the end okay now from the beginning to the end is blood only the background that is blood the image is not affected now we export this file 
So when you finish achieving a particular thing, you export it so that it will give you a fresh start As you are for watching a new me, one. I am here to so I will not have it. any cut and join files to work on. So I export it. The quality of your video each time you now we open CapCut again and, and you look at import the, video, you are not proud of it. the image, I mean the video that we just exported. So this is it. We play it to see whether it is the video because some you may have some of the old videos still in your gallery. Me, so I you have to, to cross check I know whether that you are you working with the right complaining video. So every time about now that the quality. I've confirmed and now increase the volume again. Volume is very, very important. You increase and listen to it. To make sure the noise is removed. As you are watching me, I am here and to solve sound your problem. Well. Somebody I know can that hear. you. So the next thing I want to do is to reduce the noise again. Okay. Remember, I reduced the noise before and exported. Now importing it again to work again. I have to renew it. So now we go back to our Pexo. Sorry, we go back to our Chrome. Now we want to clean the audio. We now come to Adobe Podcast. You search Adobe Podcast. It will give you this environment. You need to sign up for it and have an account. Then you now go and import the video. All right. When you import the video, you'll be able to You'll be able to upload it and they will work on the sound for you and remove noise. Then you now use this, this cloud convert to convert it from WAV to MP3. Because Adobe Podcast will make you download it in WAV format and CapCut does not support WAV. So after that, you have converted it back to MP3. You download it. Now go straight into your gallery. You play it to confirm that you're working with the right file. So the next thing, we now go back to our CapCut. All right, so that we can add our sound. Now take it to the beginning. We click on Add Audio. But before that, you have to mute the main video. So I mute it. I click on add audio, add sound. I select this file icon. I select the device. Then this is the file. I select it. You may need to rename it before uh, you come back to CapCut after you have downloaded it. But since I know As you are watching the format, me, I, am I don't here need to, to solve your problem. So now I, I have to cut you... out the part that I don't want, and now track it. As you are watching me, to match with to the solve voice. Your problem. Watching I am here to solve your problem. I know that you. At this point, my mouth is not working according to the sound, so I want to match them. How do I do that? What I need to do is to click on the video and extract audio. So you say, As you are extract watching audio. Me, I so I want to I extract the audio from the video. All right, you can see. Now you can see the graph of the audio that we have extracted and the one that we As have added. Me, so with this, it is very simple you for you to match time. them because the graph, you just match the graph because they are similar, okay? Now listen, everything match, okay, As you, you can me, see. I am here to solve your problem. I know that you... So that is the simplest way to achieve it. About... Now, I delete the extracted file and put our original that we imported as you are watching you me i am here to solve your 
As you are watching me, I am here to solve your problem. If you are enjoying this tutorial already, if you are learning something, please don't fail to like this video and give a thumbs up. So all I need to do is to increase the volume. Okay. Then after that, is to export it. But before then, I add my logo. So you can see, I add logo as the layer. You click on layer and you select. Now I want to do max because I want it to be in circle, not in square as it is. Now I use circular, I choose the circle format and you adjust it. All right, you can see I've achieved it. So I will accept it. Then I use my fingers to reduce the size to the size I want. I want it tiny. Then I now place it at the corner I want. I can place it by the left or by the right. So I choose this position and I place it there. The next thing I want to do is to extend it to cover the whole video. So I drag it to the end. I don't want it to be at a spot. Then after it will disappear. But if you As just you want it to me, appear at a spot, you allow it like that. I'm doing this detailed explanation so that you'll be able to start something immediately after you finish watching this video. Now you can see. Everything is set. Now we add, look for a, a, a spot and add our cover. So you select the cover from any part of the video you want. All right. And now we spot it. I increase the resolution, the rate, and export it again. So I like working when i walk and achieve a particular thing i export that part so that it will give me a fresh start and a complete start for another one so now the next thing we want to do is to click on create and create again we'll bring as you are watching me hour. i am click here on to video and select the video that you just exported now which is this one and add all right, it's here. We we'll play it to listen to it. All right. So the next thing we wanna do right now is to add caption. So you click on auto caption. When you click on text, you click on auto caption. As you are and watching are me, so I am here uh, to solve your problem. Styles, I different styles of animations. You choose the one that suits your style. And it will add it for you automatically all you need to do is to play it okay now you can I want see to that show you how some you of the spellings are not correct to call maybe call due to, to your pronunciation video. or due to error so you have to now edit it by clicking on the pencil icon when you highlight it and you'll be able to edit it like that you go through it you allow it to play uh, play from the beginning to Just the to end post it from I want there to you'll show be able you to see where mistakes are and you correct them just as i'm doing tiktok okay. i want you to follow you my the steps like right second. into it so you go through them like that like that you can change the ammunition if you want to if you don't want that one like me i want to change it okay okay you can see the new ammunition I've added so i will now remove the cap cut logo at the end so you now highlight it Sometimes i want to span it i want it to big so one of the ways is to highlight it and use your fingers to extend it just as i've done and whatever you do for one clip will affect all the clip except 
you change the command that you want it to be only on that one so now we are adding a sound a background music so I search for DIY sound okay DIY soundtrack I play it's not something I want I sound like you then play so you, you have option to go through as many as you want listen to them and choose the one you like so I think I don't like any of this I don't like any of this so I will change the command the search keyword and just say soundtrack okay as you are so watching me I am here to solve your problem I know that you are complaining and every I like it so I select that one I like that one so you can hear so your sound as you are watching me I am here to solve your problem I know that you good to channel overall please subscribe it if you are watching from the, the youtube channel so please subscribe like and share the volume drop so that comment. will not overshadow what i'm saying maybe 10 take it to 10. okay this is normal so i allowed it like that so at this point i discovered that when it got to this place it got high because of, if you can look at the wave graph the is higher YouTube there. channel so please subscribe like it. and share drop a comment on the next video right and I will now reduce it. this one to five okay reduce it to five and it sound the same with the other one so you can see it doesn't overshadow so what I want to do here is the sound is too long, so I will cut it from this point where the video stop. The sound should stop there, so I'll cut it and delete the excess out. All right, so I minimize, I go out, click on my chrome, and go back to Pexel. Now, what I want to do is I want to add some videos okay some reaction videos that when i say something a video clip will react so i search for the theme i'm looking for so whenever you want free videos you just use pexel come to pexels.com and you have a whole lot of videos here so i like this one this one will interpret what i'm saying Right, I download it free. So you can free download. Okay. I allowed it. You have to allow it. And it downloads. Okay. Go back to CapCut. I play it to the point I want it to be. All right. I'm just playing it to the point. There's a point I'm looking for. So, I now look for another video. All right. Another reaction video. There are so many, so you will just go through them and choose the one you want. So, at this point, this is what I want. Somebody editing with smartphone since that is what i'm teaching you how to use your smartphone all right so that is the search theme i'm using somebody filming with smartphone all right i download so whatever search theme you want then i play it again i'm looking for a point that I want to add the video. So at this point, I align. 
remember when you start cutting the clip you have to extract the audio out of it first if not you'll be messing your work up i split it from there so at this point is where i want to import the so i add the video from there all right so i select the video complaining every time about the quality of your video each time you make the recording and you look at the I video it. you are not proud of it and you refuse to post it, it i want to, to show you how you can use this free to call right. capcom so it is so added it did that video and then now look professional irrespective it. of the type of camera you are using whether you have a high quality camera or not whether there is something the on your face or not because sometimes when saying. you look at your video and you so that is the beauty of it so from this point you see that the mouth is not saying what the sound is saying so something need to be done and i will show you how to do that so all i need to do is to play again Post it. i want to show you how and at this point i drag it used to post it i want to reduce the size the size of this video i've added is too long for seven seconds so i want something shorter so i will highlight it and i will cut it all right at that point is where i want to cut and delete the excess so this is 4.4 seconds so i have to from the here i like this one i have to subtract that 4.4 seconds here so video editing you have to be brilliant to achieve excellence so now from this point i have to remove exact the same size and cut it out so i light it this 4.8 i have to reduce it to 4.4 it has to be 4.4 it and you refuse to post it so i want to what show you how you okay. can use this free to call cap call i reduce it to 4.4 then i will now delete it i light it and delete so when you play it now my mouth will be saying what the sound is saying make the recording as simple and as you look that. at the video you are not proud of it and you refuse to post it so all you I need to do is show you want how to add you can more clips this free to call guys out to, to do edit it that video and then so look you keep on working like that now, you can see of the that everything of now matches camera. So I look for another point and split again to import another reaction. Okay, this one. So I add. All I need to do is to follow the same process.